Yes, yes, Massive Recruit back once again with another video, another retro hunting Akai video, guys. Uh, but this time I've got the Emu um, Ultra. Oh, bear with me. Uh, Emu Ultra, I set my alarm there for this auction. Just checking out this auction here. Look, it's got about six minutes to go. And you've got uh, an Akai, um, I keep calling it Akai, Emu Ultra uh, that's in pretty good nick here. Look. It's got, I believe, uh, I think this one's got 128 megabyte of RAM or sample RAM one two, yeah, one two eight. Uh, pretty good looking. Uh, it's got hard drive built in it. Look, it's put Western Digital. Let's have a look. Is that a SCSI? It's an IDE. So it, this thing takes IDE hard drives, which is pretty sick. And uh, check it out. Look, it's at 220 so far. These things go like flipping madness, man. Look, it's got. Uh, he says he's left 1.7 gig of coral and emu miscellaneous samples on the hard drive. Manuals can be downloaded here, uh, and he's given a few links. And it says home use only, smoke free, uh, smoke and pet free studio. Um, the blanking panel for option port one and two is not original. Also four screws. So five minutes to go. Let's see what this thing's going to go for. 220. I mean, it started off at 128 pounds or something like that. 120, look, it's still, well, it started at 20, look. And uh, it's just worked its way up. There's a lot of people bidding on this thing. These go for about 300 pounds on eBay. And this is not even the 6400, um, but it's still ultra, meaning it's fast. Um, the ultras are way faster, and I believe they have a lot more functions on them. You know what I mean? You've got to do your homework on these ones, guys. But four minutes to go. People are going to be bidding for the last minute on this. I'm just really curious to see what sort of price this thing is going to go for because it seems like a good deal. Look, the, the, and uh, you know, a good thing with the Akai and um, with the don't call it Akai Gimby. A good thing with the Emus, the screen seems to outlast the Akai ones. I don't know. It's a different type of screen. Um, maybe because it's got that black text, um, you can use a much f um, brighter. OLED in the backlight um, and um, it will just give it that more of a vibrancy um, bad news guys uh, my test Akai S3000XL accidentally blew the power board on it today um, because I accidentally had a pair of tweezers fall from one of my drawers above it and just touched the power supply and I just heard a big pax and it was gone so now I've ordered another power supply off of eBay for about 35 quid but I want to be able to troubleshoot a dodgy power supply as well so I'm going to sort of try and research that to see if I can DIY maybe change of you know swap out a few components in it or, and something you know it's not that I mean it's I won't say it's not that hard but like I do feel like I have got the capability and the tools to be able to do it myself so I'm going to test that out and uh, hopefully uh, see see what comes of it. So, three minutes to go. Two twenty, man. I mean, I've got I've got like a, a E four X Ultra, not an sorry an E four X emulator, but the E four X to me seems a little bit slow compared to the Ultra, because obviously the Ultra was an updated model. Um, so I'm curious to see what kind of price this thing's going to go for probably people are going to bid at the last minute it's way below its value uh in terms of when i say below its value in terms of its current value uh based on you know what um other people have um been selling these things for uh because i did a little bit of homework on it and um i was going through these uh eba emu sales uh, somewhere along the line here. I don't want to run. I don't want to lose what I'm doing here, but let's go search for emu 5000 ultra Right getting tight now Right, and then you if you go completed listings again uh, Where are that? Where's that complete? Yeah, complete complete items, right? You'll see here that 95 look that one went for 350 so it's well below value 325 Look, that one went for 200 ish right so there's a good chance look with one minute to go 220 flipping hell bro that'll probably be a sweat 
Right, I'm going to try 230. If I get it for 230, I would have got it undervalued. And I might end up selling my E4X Ultra. And this could be a nice upgrade. So let's see what happens. I'm not going to alarm anyone yet. Because you know how it goes. The bidding probably start in the last 30 seconds. And somebody will win it. I don't re I don't totally want to win it. But like I, I'm thinking to myself. This is another step closer to the E6400. 220. Whoever wins this at 220. Is going to get a good price. Right now things are rough out there. People are probably looking to. Um, you know get a bargain. Maybe 235. Plus shipping. So 32 seconds. I'm going to take my chances here. I'm going to see if I can win this. This ultra. Is it fate? Is it meant to be? Am I meant to have an Emu E60? Emu E5000 Ultra. It's not 6400. 14 seconds. Here we go. What the hell? Damn. 310 you know. You see what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. Nah, nah, I'm out man. I'm not bad. What? Jeez, I'm bread, no way! Oh my word, look at that! Damn, three hundred and forty-four pound plus shipping. People must really want these samplers, man. You see, that is absolutely nuts, right? Now check this out. Right, I'm going to show you a couple of bits. You can get um like some sort of scuzzy um like adapter for it. Look at this, EB starter complete starter package. What's this? ESI 32. Guys, grab a bargain right now. Look, SCSI, I am eager. You've got discs with it, right? And you've got flipping manuals. You've got SCSI cables to connect that up to flipping. Probably recycle. I'm not sure. Do your homework. Make an offer. My man's asking a 150 for that, man. If you get that for 150, yeah, you're in the game, man. Look at that. Flipping heck. But I saw, um, look at it, look, look, 299, hold on, ESI 4000, oh yeah, this is the ESI 32, this is like a Commodore Vic of uh, Commodores, backlight's not lighting up, so you've got a pretty, biz well it does light up, but it's not, you can see it's a bit yellow, but it's it's a, a bit visible, but it's a cheap sampler, if you want to get into external samplers, I'd recommend that, I'd recommend that. Uh, 280 let's see this is what I was talking about check this out look you can get like an external SCSI um, it's one of the old Yamaha drives yeah and it connects this is like for you to read CD-ROMs is it essential no I would say no but hold on this got this look, it's got a couple of hard drives with it so if you've got space in your rack and you want somewhere to save stuff to um, you could probably, you know, use this. Um, but at the same time, that other guy was running an IDE in his one. So, do you need it? Maybe not. If you want to read some CD-ROMs, maybe. But you can easily use CD Extract or probably Translator. Uh, haven't for what I've done with Translator so far, I found tr Translator a little bit sort of sticky. It bugs out when you try to do like long scuzzy. Um, operations on it but you could probably use a program like that to rip the um the cd-roms to you know to maybe whatever format you need to transfer it back in uh recycle whatever the case may be what emu ultra quiet internal 160 gig hard drive man okay that's just for the hard drive i was gonna say man someone might have put it on there and didn't realize the value of it but yeah, guys, uh, sampler Amiga drive. Look with Adaptec card and Emu Roland Yamaha. I think. Well, look, I think some of this stuff will work with Akai's too. You know. Uh, okay, it's just a, it's just a, it's just a drive, just a jazz drive, scuzzy jazz drive. Guys, look at this Emu Dance two thousand sample collection on zip disk. Cheeky. Oh, nice man! Look at that emu dance. So the emu samples, yeah. Emu dance sample collection, two times one hundred zip disc. Hard to get hold of nowadays. Even the discs are rare. I've actually got quite a lot of zip discs, to be fair. Um, the zips are the samples are superb. Really made my ESI shine. 
hundreds of presets from emu orbit planet fat raman module uh in each bank hundreds of simps space uh, electronic drums this is this sounds like a good buy man again um you need an emu for that to work that would work with mine i could probably get that and i could i could probably get that right now and uh i've got a zip drive zip 100 and i've also got the emu so i could string that up and have some fun with it man what do you reckon guys i'm gonna watch that item for now I'm, I'm on a bit of a window shopper one but it sounds like a good lick man is this filled up with samples let's have a look hundreds of samples hmm nice you know what yeah i'm gonna get that i'm definitely getting that make an offer look he's he's willing to go a bit lower all right I'll tell you what bro let me give you 12 quid bruv let me give you 12 quid for that yeah he's willing to go lower make an offer means you're willing to go lower right so well i'm gonna make him an offer in it see what he says because that looks that sounds like a good little patch up look at this you got some emu sampler esi volume one and two zip disc look at that profit vs freaking now what is that three three of them hold on so i've compiled emu library volume one and two esi production set consisting of two cds over three times 100 megabyte zip disks these sets were designed for the esi range of samplers included all-time classics like sequential profit wow now i want to know does the emulator x or emulator x read esi disks e emu sampler esi i'm going to come back and have a look at it. i'm watching that as well man because this sounds really interesting there's a lot of, there's a lot of banks and i wonder if they can be converted look at that factory drum what the hell god damn jeez look at that price man for what 70 20 floppy disk drives for about 20 20 megabytes of sample time for 75 pound bomb fly that is that is serious check this one out 49 quid jeez and um, bread look at the price on that e sound like e2 sound library 4 gig 1984 1984 v2 collection emulator emulator 2 emulator x sampler hxc card oh that's for the hxc so that bloody hell man jeez he's selling that for flipping dough come on bro come on good bro come on bro what are you saying i'll give you 15 quid what are you saying bro come on come on bro 15 pound yeah come on bro hook me up it wasn't accepted what man for some digital thing mad step man i ain't playing that kind of dough for that you must be mad let's see floppy drive emulator usb for emu max sampler okay cool 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 let's have a look through what else get memory emu is popping there's a lot of stuff out for emu it doesn't sound the same as the akai but it's still a good sampler and it still has a nice sound uh emu max one sound library disc pop piano what 10 14 dollars for one floppy disc of one 0.4 megabyte of sample time hell no you're buzzing mate nah get lost man there's no way you sent me off you would send me off floppy for 14 dollars nah come on man come on man you know what i mean what muppet's gonna buy that here you go look esi 32 there you go 150 quick still boom 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 lights went on lights went on when turned in what lights went on when turned it on what the hell does that mean in esi 32 voice digital sampler rack mount sampler with cable this item is being sold on behalf of someone else oh the dodgy the dodgy the dodgy one well it's not really me mate it's my mate you know what i mean 
uh, yeah, what it is, uh, it's not working, uh, sorry to hear it's not working, it's my mate, you know what I mean, and like, he said there's no money back once it's not sold, because I don't know anything about it, I didn't really know it was broken, you know what I mean, come on bruv, what is that, now, 150 now mate, make offer, man, I'll give you a flipping, 70 pound for it, 50 pound for it, because it, your mate might, it might be broken, your mate, your mate might have broken it, <laughs> <laughs> and I right, flip it then, then I'm stuffed mate you know what I mean nah alright what we got here plug and play USB floppy drive emulator what huh what is that for the emu SP1200 sampler oh shims that's a sampler shit that looks like a flipping video mixer what kind of sampler is that Comment down below if anyone's ever used this sampler, man. This is some retro. Look, it looks like flipping television studio. They look like transition fade buttons and shit, man. I'd be interested to see if anyone's got one of these and they know anything about it. Flipping hell, floppy disk emulator, plug and play, OLED 61, rotary 66. Boy, I'm charging too with less money. Flipping hell, bruv. Look at this. And it, boy, and the button's not even like flipping a chunky one but you know that's all good oh I like that little menu thing he's put on there though that looks pretty cool I like the way he's got some stickers and just like pimped it up a bit like look at that pimp my go tech sick right guys I think we've run out of time for today well that's it you see how much these things go for the bomber clark emu emu you can't get it no more you know what I mean it's gone up to mad prices keep your eyes to the ground keep your ears to the ground keep you know what I mean keep checking at eBay every day you never know somebody will upload something and they don't know the value or they might just upload it for a reasonable price and buy it now quick sell and you get lucky so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy these shopping retro, build your retro studio videos, uh, please like, share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace.